Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Today. My name is Joshua, and in this episode, I'm basically first time ice fishing of the year. I know we have ice finally. It seems like it's been forever, but finally it's here. I'm not going to talk anymore. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, just a reminder, leave a like, and also go down below. We're having a glitch with YouTube lately where it will actually unsubscribe people, so make sure that you are subscribed. Just double check. Anyways, enough talking, I suppose. Let's get on to that content. That was a fish. Drop back down there. There he is. Bass. Or oh, crappie. Crappie, 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 crappie. Nice. You ate that. Pop that out of there. Like so. Take my jig and my plastic back, please. That's just pretty fat. Let's get him back. Okay, stop fighting. He was just there, like, he wanted that. Let's hope some of his friends are around. Okay, so, looks like the magic rods of the day are going to be these two. That's all I need. And a fish finder. Hope there's still something around here somewhere. Let's just start with a plastic. And then if I can't catch a fish on it, I'll switch. Oh, I see you. There it is. Oh, fighting hard. Ah, just a little gill. Just a little gill again. Come on. Bye, my guy. <laughs> and that's just on a little tungsten Walmart jig. Like, literally, they're the Walmart jigs. And a little Northland plastic. Let's do that again. Probably help to put my transducer down there. <laughs> Switch this fake wax worm out, which is a not really performing well. 
And I'm gonna just put a normal waxy on there. Pull out is the real wax ones. There they are. There it is. Perch. It's had to switch it up. So it can't get me with it. There we go. Just a wee little perch. There you go. Just a little perch. Let's let him go. The time that I had you guys off, there's like a thousand suspended marks, okay? There it is. We got a school. What are you? Uh, a little warmouth. But sometimes, especially this pond, I have found that throwing stuff that doesn't look like the hatch they usually eat usually works. So in this case, I am not matching the hatch. I'm throwing a bright pink plastic. And to tip that, to make that profile even bigger, I'm going to tip this with a wax worm just for scent. So first you have your jig, then you have your plastic. All good. Okay. You can catch a fish on that, but where a key is, is to take your wax worm and to put it over that hook. Kind of like wacky frigged. Like so. And that just sits there doing its thing. And you just sit here and work that lure. Already on me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you silly willy. Oh, there's something about them. Racing up. Racing up. There it is. Bluegill. Actually, this is kind of a smaller warm off. So, every once in a while, take your wax worm and hook it differently because that will get that scent. It, it will tear it a little bit, it will get a different scent gland, or pretty much just, I'm probably going to get, if I cared about actually being demonetized, I wouldn't say this, but it's going to get all the guts all over, and it's going to create a lot of scent, which is, in that case, going to be attracting, your, or upping your chances of getting a bite. So my suggestion is to rehook your wax worm every once in a while, just to get some more scent out of it. Because we are heading toward, we, we are uh, pretty dark right now, so you want to have every chance you can of letting those fish know that that jig's there. I mean, you're talking however big your pond or lake is you're fishing versus, versus how big your bait is, and the fish have to key in on that. And have to also, in that time, figure out whether that is a lure or bait. And it is your job to be convincing them into thinking that it is the forage that they're looking for. Whether that's minnows or crawfish or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. So that is basically all the tips I can think of at the moment. But 